Hi there, I'm Christine Dunbar from speechmodification.com and this is my smart American accent training. In this video, we'll look at how to pronounce boot and booth, bot and both. So as usual, we look at the spelling of the words and then the sounds in the words and help you to pronounce these correctly, easily and smoothly in your everyday speech. So first of all, the request that started this or that prompted this video was for the word booth. And so in the word booth, letters O-O say the OO sound. It's a tense uh, high back vowel, OO. And then TH is the uh, voiceless TH, the TH sound like in think or both. Um, and that symbol is looks like this, like a theta. So to say booth, you might want to just try saying boo and then add your th sound, booth. If the th sound gives you trouble, check out our th playlist or our Sounds of English course to walk you through all of the details of how to easily make the th sound in English. Uh, it is a challenging sound for a lot of speakers. The reason I decided to also talk about boot is that oftentimes when people are trying to say the th sound, particularly at the ends of words, they may stop the air instead of letting it continue. So when you stop, uh, when you make a, the sound that letter T makes in boot, your tongue is touching up behind your teeth, it's blocking the air, and then it's releasing boot. We do often say words that end with T in American English with an unreleased T. That would sound like boot, boot. I'm just lifting my tongue up there, stopping the air, but not letting it come out. So to be able to hear the difference between boot and booth, when you're saying booth, you do need a flow of air. When you're saying boot, you either just stop the air or you stop and release boot, boot, booth. I do have a number of videos talking about the difference between the stopped air sounds and the continuing air sounds, so check those out here on the channel or in our Sounds of English course. We walk through all of the different sounds of English, these types of patterns to help you correct accent error patterns you may have. Then I also wanted to look at bot and both just to look at the spelling in these words. So bot, not a very common word, but you know uh, we use it for talking about like a chat bot, for example. Um, or uh, internet bot. And uh, again, we might use that stopped T. Letter O in bot has the A uh vowel. So I've rewritten that for you here with letters AH. Frequently when the letter O is in a stressed syllable of a word in American English, it says this open A uh sound. It's not rounded. It's not like the O in both or the OO in boot. Uh, and so visualizing it as an A may help you to pronounce that A uh bot more easily. Other common words that have this would be not, lot, got, problem, job, etc. You probably use those a little more commonly than you use bot, um, but knowing that that O is A or is A is, can be helpful. Um, so we have bot and then in both, letter O does say the O sound. In English, O is a diphthong, meaning it's long. It starts off rounded and open and then it closes a little bit. Oh, what I suggest is try just saying the bow part of this word. I've rewritten that for you here with OH and then adding your TH again, bow, both, making sure that you're long enough on that O sound. So once you can say boot, booth, bot, and both by themselves, do try practicing them in some short phrases just so they come smoothly and easily to you in your everyday speech. If we practice just on the word, sometimes when we go to use it in a conversation, it doesn't come out naturally or doesn't come out with that new pronunciation. You want to build up those skills, practicing it by yourself before you're trying to use it. As I mentioned earlier, if you need help for any of the sounds in these words or any of the sounds of English, do check out our Sounds of English course on speechmodification.com. It's going to walk you through all the sounds and give you a lot of help build you a strong foundation to pronounce any word you like confidently and easily in American English. I'll be back again tomorrow with another word of the day and Saturday we'll have our live question and answer class. I hope to see you there. Thanks so much for watching this video. Do like, share, comment, and subscribe if you haven't already. It really does help support the channel and I truly appreciate it. Channel members, I'll see you on Sunday in our members only class. You can click the join button if you want to learn more about that perk and other perks of channel membership. 
I'm Christine Dunbar from speechmodification.com. Remember, if you want to sound like a native speaker, you can do it. Speechmodification.com. Bye everyone. Hope to see you again soon.